um, almost immediately the next time they had a son uh, who, guess what his name was Saville and so and that was after the supposed inter, you know, that and the next son would have been Edward Edward, if indeed Edward had died, so I really do think he was born in 1806, and that is his birthday. But you know, there's room for debate. But the only way to prove or disprove what you know, it's so immaterial anyway. Um, it only changes his. It doesn't change any of the facts of his life if he was born ten years later, which I don't think he was. But for historical completeness and accuracy. You know, maybe someone can check the parish registers in Devon for an Edward Morton in 1816. Okay. Um, then Savile Morton, this he died almost immediately. And there's a Sophia. She died young. Two year, two years and nine months. <clears throat> she was um, interred at Christ Church, Bristol. And then Saville was born on Thursday, August 1st, 1811. This is the subject of the book. Um, at Exmouth, Devon. Then there was an Edmund Morton that I'll get into, and a Janetta, or Jesse, and then an Octavius that, that died almost immediately. So yeah, there is actual verification of Octavius. And the last one is Darcy he was baptized at Tigmouth, or Tigmouth, or however they say it there. Now, this is a, this here is an obituary. In memory of Charlotte, widow of the late Charles Carr Morton, of the county of Cavan, Ireland, who fell asleep in Jesus, November 27, 1854. Right there. 72nd year of her age, and so that would make her um, two of 18, 1782. There it is. <clears throat> and that's just you know, something on There's a, there's actually a, you know, it doesn't say where she was buried. I think she's buried at Torquay, if I got that right. And so this would probably be the monumental inscription on her tombstone. Then it's got Edward Morton, and this is in a different hand, as you can see. This was probably written by his wife or his daughter, or, or maybe his son, Saville Edward, who later passed the book on to um, his daughter, and then she married the Howards. Nonetheless, Edward Morton died in Toronto about midnight, September 23rd, 1884, in his 79th year of age. He was interred at the New Market Cemetery, and that's in Canada. Let's see what we have next. We have James Morton died at his father's in East, and this is the son, this is a son of uh, Dr. Edward, 23rd year of his age. Rebecca Morton died at the farm in the 66, and this must be the wife, and so 1880 by 66 makes it uh, 1814 for uh, the year of birth for, um, there it is. She's said to have been born in Devon County, England. I don't have a verification of it. And then here down here is the record for the um, Charles John Morton, <coughs> son, of, <coughs> son of Dr. Edward, <coughs> that I'll mention in here died in Australia on May 10th, 1908, and I today just just found today there was a, an inquisition about his death, and he died by an accidental hanging. Unbelievable. And then uh, here's just some money. I guess in 1873, it says, this must be Janetta's money, or Jesse's, 1873, April 22nd, I wonder, here for Janetta, I got it as March 1885 from the free BMD. That's 1873. I'm not sure why that's there. Or why there's an accounting of someone's money. And this is a reiteration of 
Dr. Edward Morton's, you know, he was born in Devonshire and di you know, died in Toronto, Canada. This is another that had a residence in East Bloomberry. On the 6th, the beloved wife, Dr. Irv Morton, aged 65 years after a long and peaceful illness. She uh, died May 6th, 1880, buried at the New Market Cemetery, Lot 28, Range 57, on May 8th, May 6th, 1880. Is Dr. Edward Norton. So I probably should put New Market there too. At least it's the summit. But you know, it's a it's kind of tricky. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna put the the um, for the main record, are you gonna put where they're buried or the place they were when they died? Hopefully they're gonna be close to each other. That's not always the case. One of Jack's relatives was sent back up to um Portage de Four, Quebec, to be buried there. <laughs> but she died in Calgary. <laughs> okay, so we've gone down to that. We're pretty much in Dr. Edwards, Dr. Edward Morton's family. Now, amongst all the records I have, I have a um, a list of students that went to Trinity College um, up at Cambridge. Uh, it's called Alumni Cambridge Nissus. It's available at the um, Internet Archive, I think, in the Canadian Collections. And in there listed, it says pretty much that um, of all of Charles Carr's sons, Charles Pierce, uh, John Edward, and Saville, and Edmund, and I even think maybe even Octavius, all went to Cambridge. I'm going to stop right now.